Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habati fillah I thought it would be beneficial because there is so much interest walillahi alhamd in people wishing to uh, seek knowledge, seek Islamic knowledge al nafi as the ulama they mention coming from uh, Dua, prophetic dua of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that the Prophet sallam, used to seek refuge from el la yanfa, that not from knowledge that doesn't have any benefit. And so it shows us the importance that we need knowledge of the Sharia. We need knowledge of the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Message of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We need knowledge to worship Allah subhanahu wa taala based on elm, wabasira, and fiqh, and we need knowledge in order to function as a community and interact with one another and all of that knowledge comes from qala Allah wa qala rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam it comes from the statements of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and so I thought it would be beneficial in a couple of sittings for us to go over uh, a beneficial concise treaties of Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab al Wasabi, Rahmatullahi, Rahmatin Wasi'ah. He was one of the major uh, scholars of the Salafi Dawah in Yemen in contemporary times, a, also a major student of Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, and he was one of the elders who passed uh, a few years back. And so I thought it would be beneficial to uh, bring forth this treatise as we I went through it uh, previously and it's on here on YouTube but we will now uh, go through it again because of its benefit and its need and because of the desire of the people to want to go forth and seek Islamic knowledge. So the Sheikh began, he said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah the Beneficent, the Most Merciful. I advise my brothers for the sake of Allah, the students of knowledge, with very short advice. And there is not adequate time to do it justice, so it will be simple. There have been many books written about the benefits of knowledge and the people of knowledge. So here the Sheikh, he began in his very short uh, treaties and his short introduction to let us know that this topic is an immense topic and a very important topic and it's a, it's important advice for the student of knowledge and for those who wish to go on the path of, of seeking knowledge and seeking to come close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this is very uh, that this is a concise treatise and he meant for it to be concise because there are so many other classical texts from the Salaf and, and, and after them, uh, dealing with the importance of going forth and seeking knowledge. And it suffices us, the great Imams like Imam Bukhari and other than him, Kitab al-Ilm, you know, having the, uh, the chapter of Ilm. And Imam Bukhari, rahimahullah ta'ala, also had a chapter entitled, uh, Bab al-Ilm qabla al-Qawli wal-Amal. The chapter entitled, uh, that knowledge precedes actions and statements. So it lets us know that for us to practice our Islam properly and before we should be speaking about Islam or whatever the case may be is that we need to have ilm nafia We need beneficial knowledge. Al-ilm qabla al-qawli wal-amal. Knowledge precedes actions and statements. So it's very important for us to realize that and actualize that and be cautious about what we speak about and 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 learn how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on fiqh or basira. And we know that many ahadith, uh, as as the the the, uh, the salaf used to say, talib al ilm talib al jannah, seeking knowledge is seeking uh, is seeking jannah, seeking paradise. So the talib al ilm, the classical students of knowledge. The, beginning with the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala majma'in wa tabi'in wa tabi'in they sought knowledge in order to draw near to Allah 
to know what was halal and what was haram, know how to practice uh, Islam, know how to get to paradise, and know how to stay away from the fire. That was it. It wasn't for shuhra. It wasn't to be famous, and it wasn't to be heard of, and it wasn't to be a part of a clique or a crew, but rather they were concerned with the most important matters. What is going to get me to paradise? What should I do to avoid uh, Je Jehendam, the hellfire, and what are the steps to get there? And what type of attributes do I need to uh, uh, have and attain in order to get to paradise? So this is why the Salaf said, Talib al ilm Talib al-Jannah, seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, Man salaka tariqan yal talmisuhu bihi ilman sahla lalluhu tariqan al-Jannah. Whoever traverses the path of knowledge and knowledge, uh, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. The Prophet ﷺ said, May Allah be khayran yafakhufidin. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him fiqh or understanding of the religion. So what we want is we want to attain some fiqh of our deen so we can practice it properly and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us with tawfiq in that. So the Shaykh realized and spent his whole life uh, you know, learning and teaching and applying that. In applying that knowledge, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him, have for, have mercy upon him, forgive him, and bless him with Jannah to Fardos. Amin. And so then he said, so be advised with. So here's his advice, his very short advices. He said, first, ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Allah the Almighty and glorified said, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَى لَيَعْبُدُ اللَّهُ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and they were not commanded except to worship Allah sincerely and for him is the religion so we know ikhlas and we know that following the son of the prophet وسلم, those are the two conditions for our deeds to be accepted by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ikhlas wa uh, ittiba you know wa mutaba you know uh, sincerity to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we are following the son of the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam so he says the Shaykh, meaning in Bukhari and Muslim, it was narrated upon Umar radiallahu ta'ala that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Verily actions are tied to the intentions and everyone shall get that for what he intended. Therefore, he who migrates for Allah and his messenger, then he has migrated for Allah and his messenger. And whoever migrates for this worldly life and attains it or to take some woman in marriage, then his migration was for that for which he migrated. And this is in Bukhari and Muslim. So this is a hadith of Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, which he said, سَمَعْتُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ يَقُولُ or إِنَّمَا أَعْمَالُ بِنِيَادِ وَإِنَّمَ لِكُلِّ إِمْرِي الْمَنَاوَى فَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجُتُ وَلَاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ فَهِجُتُ وَلَاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجُتُ لِلدُّنْيَا يُسِيبَهَا وَمِرَاتٍ يَنْكِهَا فَهِجُتُ وَلَمَا and it shows us the importance of the intention. So the Sheikh mentioned these nusus, these two texts, these two divine texts from the Book of Allah and from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, illustrating the importance of sincerity to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Also in a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, "In in al awwal al nas yuqda alayhi yom al qiyama rajalun ustushira fu utiya bihi fa arafu ni amu fa arafaha qala fa ma amta fiha qala." قتلت فيك حتى استشهد قال كذبت ولكنك فعلت لي قال هو هو جوان هو جوان فقد قيل ثم أمر به فصعب لواجي حتى الكفنار. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned the first three people on the day of judgment who will be brought before Allah سبحانه وتعالى or who are جري. Is uh, a man who was martyred, and he will be brought before Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and then he'll be asked, for, "What did you do?" And the man will say, "I fought for your sake until I was martyred." And then Allah Tabarak wa Taala will say, "Kidabt, you lied, but rather you did it so that the people would say you were a uh, you were brave," and they did. Then he will be dragged on his face in the fire. What we learn from this hadith, Ahabitabillah, is it shows us the importance of being sincere in our actions and that even doing the highest deeds in Islam, if you do it to please the people instead of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it can actually be a source of your punishment and the hellfire instead of Jannah. 
And so uh, another benefit is also that this man received his reward in this life. Because he got the praise of the people. MashaAllah, so and so is a great mujahid. Oh, let's watch videos of him. Let's, uh, you know, have pictures of him and under our pillows and and this and that and the other. And, and people spoke about him and people praised him and people saw his videos and had pictures of him and all kind of things like this. And that's what his reward was. And the second one is... Uh, is a man who sought knowledge and he taught it uh, and he you know recited the Quran he was a beautiful reciter of the Quran and memorizer and likewise he'll be brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asked you know from uh, what, what did you do uh, and he'll be he'll say that uh, you know that I you know read the Quran and, and I taught, you know, I recited the Quran and I taught it. And I, you know, sought knowledge and I taught it for your sake. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Kadabd, you lie, but rather you did it so that the people would say you are an alam or the people would say you are a qadi, you know, a beautiful reciter. And it was said, faqad qil. And it was said, meaning it was said about this person. So they got the reward in the dunya. And the third one is a man who spent. And he said he spent in the cause of Allah, and likewise, similar, his ending was like the others. He'll be dragged in the face, on his face in the hellfire. So it shows us the importance of sincerity, as the Sheikh mentioned. And until our next sitting, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.